Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly host Partal with the first episode of a new series, Golden Gaming, OGG for short. The show will revolve around gaming first ignored by most of the gaming community, either because they never heard about them or didn't think they would be a good fit. Today it is my pleasure to start with one of my most loved games of all time, an old game published in 1992 for the Amiga, Atari ST, DOS and Super NES, Pushover. Pushover is a platform game developed by Red Rat Software, where the game plot revolves around Colin Curly, the mascot for Quavers at the time, losing his Quavers packets down a anthill. Our mission consists in retrieving them all, solving puzzles by controlling a large end soldier named G.I.N. That's some next level badassery right there for you. The puzzle consists in rearranging several domino pieces around the level in order to make the trigger one fall down as the last. To do that, as you can see, we have uh, several different domino pieces types. Some that create bridges, some that explode, some that vanish, some that fall down after a certain amount of time. As I said before, in order to win a level, every single piece on the screen must be fallen, with the trigger one falling last. No one can be still standing or rolling while that trigger one gets down. With the trigger down, the door is open, so we can enter it and win the level. After winning the level, you can see on the right the code number. You can write down and enter in the loading screen, so you can get to the point where you left before. The game has 100 levels of increasing complexity, with 9 different scenarios. The Industrial Complex, Aztec World, Space Station, Electronic World, Greek Temple, Medieval Castle, Mechanics by World, Dungeon and Japanese Temple. Each of them has 11 levels, making up for 99 regular levels, plus a special last. Several factors can cause, of course, the failure of a level, as toppling all dominoes down with the trigger last is simply not enough. You need to exit the door before the timer reaches zero. Also, you could possibly die from a fall of ice or falling down the screen or dying crash between the dominoes. Here we are in Space Station, one of my favorite scenarios of the whole game. Another great value of the game that must be noted are the soundtracks. Even though you listen to the same songs for about 99 levels, you never get tired of them. And that alone could tell a lot about the quality of the soundtrack and the general quality they poured into this game. As you can see now, I'm trying to move some blocks around in order to allow a constant flow of domino chains in order to avoid uh, getting stuck uh, and getting some blocks not falling down. For example, if I left the stop block there, the one on top would fall on it and both be crushed, and the level would fail. The beauty of this game is also its longevity. I mean, it's over 21 years and it's still good. I have come back several times during the years to get back and play again uh, all the levels. Just a little push. The game is still challenging today. Some of the solutions are so complex that you can't just remember after years the correct one and be done with it in half a second. It really takes time. Well, guys, this wraps it up. I will leave you additional information in the description. If you didn't do it yet, remember to subscribe, like, tweet it, share it, and drop a comment below. This is Vassal and I'll be seeing you next time.